Today we're going to do a, a lesson in LISA, which is Low External Input Sustainable Agriculture. We're seeing around the world now that the supply chain is breaking down, so farmers have to learn how to make their own uh, inputs from their own farms. So here we're going to make today a really good fertilizer or a, fertil a soil amendment called EM, Effective Microorganism. And uh, on this particular one, this one's used from local farm inputs. Okay, so let's have a look over here. Uh, two and a half months ago, I put in here uh, sheep, uh, sorry, cow guts and pig guts. And they're just be lying in the drum and in water, rotting away. I put nothing else in there. So the theory behind it is that in every animal carries inside it the bacteria to break that animal down into soil when it dies. So if we get the, uh, the intestines from a bovine, we've already got m microorganisms in there that would uh, feed the soil. So this has been rotting away for two months, or two, just over two months. Rip the lid off it. It is pretty gruesome. And um, anyway, farmers just got to punch through this to get what they need. But this, this fertilizer that we're going to make, or this soil amendment, is probably better than you can buy in a shop anyway. All right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stir it up. I'm going to test to see if the intestines and the stomach and all the things that I threw in there a few months ago are broken down. Oh my god. Try not to breathe. <laughs> all right, that looks pretty good. So now, I could just do this with a, just with a stick, right? But today, I've got some technology with me. I've got a paint stirrer and the drill, and I'm gonna put the drill on one, all right? And just make sure that it's attached properly because I have seen people do this and it falls off into the tank and you gotta fish it out some. All right, we'll just start off slow, don't go too fast. You don't wanna spray yourself with uh, the, these guts, believe me. No one's gonna like you when you get home that night tonight. I'll get a bit of a vortex going. All right, this stuff's broken down very nicely. Oop. There's a few chunky bits on the um, drill. I'll show you what to do with that in a minute. Okay, now what I've got, I'm going to add now is molasses. I'm putting seven liters of molasses in, my 200 liter drum of gut mix. Guts mix. All right, I'm gonna drill that in as well. I'll just put that in reversed. We give it a good mix for about five minutes. Okay, the next one I'm putting in is a bucket of chicken manure, straight from our own chickens, so I know it's organic and it's on farm. Next is chopped up greens. The more, the more you chop things up, the more surface area they have, and the more they'll turn into your fertilizer. Here I'm using chopped up radish tops from the garden, so the garden goes back to the garden. Okay, now you get, poke it all down. Now I haven't added the whole third yet. I'm gonna do it over the next couple of days. I'm gonna get this stuff mixed up first so it's brewing. So this is aerobic bacteria. That's why we're stirring it every day. We stir it for 10 minutes every day. This gets the oxygen in there, in there and promotes the bacteria that we want. So get a vortex going one way and then break the vortex, go the other way. Okay, now you wonder yourself, how would I clean that, that drill off? It's pretty disgusting, right? But guess what? We got some guys over here who love doing that. Now this is a pretty tasty treat for chickens. Here you go, chicky. Chicky, chuk, 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 chuk. Mmm. Check that out. It's like a super lucky. <laughs> yeah, I'll come back, to, I'll come back this afternoon, that'll be clean. Okay, so that's it. that's it now. What we've got here is the mother. This is the mother juice that we're gonna to use to um, water our gardens with once a week. And what I do is once this is broken down, I'll, have a, I'll be able to see this in about 10 days. It'll smell exactly like fresh cow manure um, because the bovine uh, bacteria will have broken down those weeds just like it does in the guts. And then what I do is I use this 20 to one, 20 liters of water to one liter of this stuff. And I do that every Friday and that uh, boosts my soil fertility 
that boosts the growth of plants and the strength of the plants. What you really want is really strong plants that resist insect attack. So um, yeah, this is, the, this is the way to go. It's the fastest type of fertilizer to make with the least amount of effort. You just need those couple of months to brew, that, brew those guts up. All right, that's a good guts effort, eh? Well, it takes you two and a half months to rot the guts down. Um, and I've, I've used two kinds of guts there, but you, could, you don't have, only have to use one, a pig or a cow or a goat, sheep, any bovine's fine. Uh, then just once the guts are ready, it only takes probably 30 minutes to make the rest of it. And then it's 10 days of stirring until you get that smell. Basically a, a fertilizer maker or a farm, uh, someone's making EM, he's just like a chef. You know by the smells when things are ready and you know instinct, in, intuitively. So at first it's mechanical, but after a while you get, to, you get to work it out. And sometimes I can inoculate one set of EM with another just to pass it on. Uh, once, it's, once it's depleting, you can add some more manure, you can add some more uh, molasses. You don't need to add the bovine uh, guts in there because you've already inoculated it. So once you've got that inoculation, you can, keep, you can grow it for many, many years if you like. Well, the cool thing about the, the bacteria that you've got there, it actually delivers the nutrients right to the roots of the plants. So you water it down, you water your garden early in the morning. It's better if the soil's already moist or the soil's been irrigated or rain, and then the bacteria will just start uh, going down into the soil and taking the nutrients with it. Really well. Well, you can do this without the guts. The guts just are the, you know, the, the bee's knees. You can just do it with straight chick uh, chicken poo or cow poo or a mixture of manures, as long as they're fresh. You'll get a similar result. But you get the best results from the guts. And uh, I would advise against it in uh, a suburban area. <laughs> Once the, the, the neighbors know that you've got a, a barrel of rotten guts there, they'll probably um, get pretty upset. Um, or you just do it at night and they blame each other, I don't know. <laughs> But you can smell, if you're downwind from this one, I open that drum up after the two and a half months, uh, several houses around you will know that what you're doing, I'm sure. Uh, I use it once a week. So for me, every Friday is fertilizer day. So I'll mix up my uh, EMs and I'll treat my um, soils around my plants with their with the EM. So this, is, this can actually enliven dead soils. Yeah, it's quite, it's the, probably the best fertilizer you can get for kicking off a, a new garden.